Kate from Toledo, oh, Ohio. Oh. Kate, how are you? Hi. I'm Gerard. fine. Uh, uh, if we're going to hold Trump accountable for hush money, shouldn't we be investigating the other government officials who have the same problem, only they're using taxpayer money? Look, here's my feeling about it, okay? This hold people accountable is an article of convenience. I do not want my governor, or my government or my governor spending all their time looking at people almost <laughs> exclusively in the other party. That's what happens when we do this. I'm not saying that, I got uh, a question for that you, Donald Cuomo. Trump is the only person who's doing anything wrong. I'm just saying I don't know why people believe he promises us better. Go ahead. I got a question for you, okay? So you're a lawyer, right? Yes. Okay. So Stormy Daniels in 2006 had some kind of interaction, let's be kind, with mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Took her 10 years to bring a lawyer to the attention of the Trump organization, mm -hmm. 10 years, mm -hmm. asking for money. Mm -hmm. The timing was right before the 2016 vote. Mm -hmm. Now, if Stormy Daniels had shown up without a lawyer mm -hmm. 10 years after the interaction and asked for money, mm -hmm. what would you call that? Uh, the word begins with an X if you don't know how to spell extortion. That's what he would be, would be the concern, is that you're coming to me and Good. saying, That's I have a private answer. matter for you That's that I may expose if you don't give me what I want. Um, but That's right. Look, I, so I don't wait, think anybody wait, wait, has wait. argued that him making the payment was illegal. I mean, certainly I haven't. Well, wait a minute, but that's the premise of the entire case. So when the premise of the case, as a lawyer, you know this, mm. is a poisoned well, you don't go ahead with the case. I don't think it's that simple an analysis. I don't think him paying off somebody for silence for whatever man. reason is illegal. But how you account for it and what it represents could be an issue. If it is demonstrably a campaign contribution, which I don't know that he can make that case. But because a third party paid it, if it can yeah, be construed that way, case. then the underlying fact pattern is not what is dispositive in the legal analysis. But again, I'm not promoting the case. I'm just saying I, I think that you have to attack this move on Trump. You do. But the idea that Trump would be better and cleaner and want a better level of law and order, we've never seen that. Next. Next, we're going to go to Gerard from Jones County, Georgia. Gerard, how you doing? Jones County, hey, Georgia. Chris. You know, I, I, you know, I was there. I'm trying to remember the story. Maybe I, I think it was the Redneck Olympics. This gag uh, festival. <laughs> I think I was down there for part of it. It was a great time. They raised a ton of money for a lot of great causes. Anyway, what do you got, Gerard? Okay, let me get cut to the chase. How you doing, Bill? How you doing, Chris? I'm a conservative voter I'm and a regular Gerard. Republican. You talk a lot about independence on this show, Chris. Mm. Do you think? True independents would be more or less inclined to vote for Trump after all this stuff. Depends how it comes out. I think they're so disgusted with this being the dominant activity in our politics that they just tune out. It's easy to say if it's seen as a miscarriage of justice, does that help him or hurt him? It should help him. But at the same time, it's a reflection of, well, it's not like he didn't do what the district attorney is focusing on, right? The two other guys on the deal with him both admitted guilty uh, to it. So it's that, well, is it a crime? And should this DA have brought it this way? Uh, I think it could be bad for Bragg and not necessarily be good for Trump, but I don't think independent voters are gonna make their choice up on this. It doesn't matter to their lives. I think that we all have to stop trying to predict who's gonna vote for whom based on what happened in Chicago yesterday, which was, insane chicago we had the most violent city in the country oh, electing the a man i got just further left mm. than Lori lightfoot so they were actually voting anybody who voted for this guy for more dead bodies in the poor neighborhoods because the wealthy people can protect themselves it's shocking so the voting patterns in america have changed dramatically mm. changed into some area that I, even i don't understand I, I was just stunned by that vote in Chicago yesterday. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.